These are the lucky ones, said an official from the United Nations High Commission for Refugees, as he watched more than 1,500 former inmates of a Serb-run detention camp arrive in the Croatian town of Karlovac. This is the first large-scale evacuation of prisoners from the camps, part of a program which the International Committee of the Red Cross hopes will lead to the closure of all detention camps in Bosnia. It was these pictures of some of the same men in Trinopoli which brought home to the world the horror of the conditions in the camps. Though painfully thin in August, they're now in much better health. In the six weeks before being released, they were cared for by the Red Cross. But all were said to be traumatized and terrorized, and today many felt free for the first time to tell the full story of the past few months. <laughs> This woman, seven months pregnant, said women were giving birth in the woods and bringing their babies back to the camps to die. 500 women and children, she said, are still there. And in this war, where atrocities are the norm, there were terrible new allegations of the educated, the doctors, the teachers, the political and religious leaders being segregated and then killed. Hassan Delic said he witnessed the guards come in and read out their names. They were all educated people or wealthy. They took them out, we could hear them screaming, and I saw their bodies next morning in the yard. Claims of atrocities also came from Sarajevo. Muslim women are said to have escaped from this Serb-held suburb, Gabritsa, saying they were raped repeatedly and imprisoned to prevent them from seeking abortions. This 15-year-old girl said she'd been held with 20 others. They came one night to the room where we were kept and took three of us. They took us to the other room. They told us to take our clothes off. We refused, then they beat us and tore our clothes off. They pushed us on the floor. Two soldiers held me down while two others raped me. I shouted at them and tried to fight back, but it was no use. If they raped me, they said they'd make sure that I would deliver a Serbian baby. The Serbs have responded with counter-allegations of atrocities committed by Muslims. Here in Milici in northeastern Bosnia, Serbs came to bury their dead last Tuesday. 28 were killed, most of them Serb militiamen, having been horribly mutilated. Here too, the suffering's appalling. This woman said the attackers came at night. Her father had his hand cut off by Muslim robbers who massacred his dead body. The funeral was filmed by a British journalist. It appears from the evidence of the local doctors, of the families and of the local militia, military, that a group of Muslim uh, Green Berets had been sheltering in Muslim villages and had attacked this particular Serbian village, which had been very lightly guarded by a sort of home guard. They had killed or injured many of the guards after rampaging through the village, came back and devastated these bodies in a variety of very vicious ways. Some were alive at the time, some were dead. The Bosnian Serb leader, Radovan Karadic, says this sort of event backs up his allegations of Muslim atrocities. We are concerned about uh, Muslims. We want them to have their own territory since we want to separate from them, since we see that we can't live together any longer. But if they do not proclaim uh, a uh, realistic objective uh, concerning territories, they may lose everything. But there's little sympathy for the Serb view at the White House, where Serbs are accused of continuing their policy of ethnic cleansing, despite promises given at the London conference in August. And at the Council of Europe in Strasbourg, there was a plea for help from the Bosnian government. If we do not do something quickly, the winter will come, many communications will be cut, and the civilian population, on top, of the bombardment and shelling in the besieged towns will start dying of hunger. On the ground, the United Nations says it has major problems in the areas it's policing, because Croats and Serbs are again jostling for position. In Geneva, both the Serbs and the Croats have served notice on the uh, government of Bosnia that unless it sits down and negotiates with them, they may proceed to carving up the republic. The situation is momentarily getting worse, but I suspect that by the winter we may reach 
a kind of an easy stalemate, of course, always, with Bosnia carved up between occupation zones. The one ray of hope in the immediate future is the plan to reopen Sarajevo airport tomorrow, so relief supplies can be flown in for the first time in a month.